Hey everybody, I'm Brett Aronic. Thanks so much for joining us. I am a real estate broker here on Amelia Island with Keller Williams Realty. And as you know, every week we speak with you about topics in the real estate business or questions we're getting or just trends that we're seeing. So today what I want to speak with you guys about is a very common topic or common question that we see because of course we do a lot of seller listings where we represent a seller and we market their property to find a ready, willing, and able buyer. So the question we receive very often is, what is the seller's disclosure thing and what does it mean for me? So a seller's disclosure is simply a statement of fact regarding non-visible or unknown, um, unknown topics or questions about a piece of property. So it's a standardized form usually issued through the Florida Association of Realtors and there are others in different states as well, but it's fairly universal and the principle behind it is very simple. Florida law requires that a seller disclose facts that are not readily observable to a prospective purchaser. So the statement or seller's disclosure form has some very standardized questions you answer those questions as a seller and if you answer yes or no to certain questions it wants you to elaborate we in turn deliver this document to a prospective buyer preferably before they make their offer that way they are fully knowledgeable or fully abreast of the property and there are certain areas on the document every page actually where they will initial and on the back page where they will sign as well we get our sellers disclosure forms filled out at the time of listing and what it does for the seller, it does a couple of things. For one, it puts the facts out there for a prospective buyer. Now let's put our buyer hats on and look at it objectively. If you were buying a piece of real estate, would you not want to know the facts about the property prior to making an offer? And that's exactly what the document does. It allows the buyer to review uh, the history of the property, if there was ever a plumbing leak or if you had the roof replaced or whatever it may be. So the buyer will get this document it allows for the seller full disclosure which meets the criteria of the law so it also not only provides the buyer with the info that they're going to be asking for but it also protects the seller and that's one question that we get from a lot of our clients you know just because i'm filling this out if there's something wrong with it or if i've replumbed it whatever it may be do i have to fix it absolutely not the seller's disclosure form strictly requires that you disclose material facts that affect marketable value to a willing and able buyer and by doing so you have met the requirement of law and you're protected in florida perhaps in other states but definitely in florida so standardized form we take them with every seller listing it does not require you to do anything except be honest and upfront about the condition of your property which is exactly what you would want when you buy one for yourself. So I hope this answers any questions you may have. If not, please reach out to us. And of course, we appreciate that you follow us on uh, YouTube. We would love for you to share this video. Please click the links and share it and let us know if we can help you. We'd love to be of service to you if you want to buy, sell, or invest or know someone who does here on Amelia Island. Thanks so much. Take care.